Hi guys, Lucy aka The Watchbox Tyra is here and today I thought I'd bring you a little bit of a different video and also give myself a little bit of therapeutic couch time by telling you guys some of my gripes and pet hates within the watch industry. So, um, are we ready for a little rant? Let's go. Let's start off mild. So, this is off-putting and it does stop me buying a watch, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. Um, I'm not a fan of when I mean, you've got a lovely watch, a lovely steel watch, um, or even white gold, you know, fancy. And then they stick gold hands or gold indices on the dial. And I'm not talking full-blown two-tone here. I'm talking just putting hands on there. Just putting the indices on there as a different shade. There are a couple of pieces out there that I kind of, I kind of like, but if I ever purchased them, it would be a, oh, I love the watch and I can deal with this side of it rather than being like, just love it. There's always going to be that one thing that's, that I'm like, it's not my favourite, but thankfully the rest of it works. I would not want to be half-hearted about what, buying a watch. I should love the whole thing. Now, I know some of you out there absolutely love this, but I hate it. I hate it and I don't understand it. Love a date wheel. Love a day, day on a date. It's great, really helpful. Especially in that week between Christmas and New Year, like Gooch week when you never know what day of the week it is. Having a day on the wheel is really, really helpful. But why does Sunday have to be red? It's not like Saturday and Sunday are a different colour to the rest of the week and it sort of differentiates the week with the weekend. That I could understand. But just Sunday. Just one day. Just roll it round and try and forget it exists. So number three, and that was two Lucy, three. Um, this is slightly controversial, but it's my opinion and this is my channel so I can kind of just say what I want. I'm talking about replica watches. And I know a couple of other YouTubers have made videos about really, really good replicas. Like if you took the branding off that watch, it would actually be a really good watch. Just make a watch, start a brand. Be your own, it, be your own brand. If I saw a watch that didn't have branding on it, but it was really well made, worked perfectly, like certain things on it that I really liked, I would love that. I would think, it's a new brand, they've got passion, like, appreciation fully. If I see a really good replica, I'm like, oh, stop trying to be something else. But no. Just no. It's wasted. Wasted. This one is aimed majoritively. Majoritively. It's not even a real word, Lucy. This one is aimed at Rolex but also at other brands that do it because I see you, I see you other brands. Um, and it is, why do you feel the need to put an entire book and all of the specifications on the dial? If anyone is buying a watch, especially something that is at a higher price point, and you don't know the specifications of the watch, i.e. like water resistance, you know, movement type, that sort of thing, I don't think anyone would. Unless you've got so much money, you literally just rock up to a shop and go, I like that one, which would be awesome. But um, I can't do that. The whole point of, of a watch and the design time taken is to make sure, you know, the dial's nice, the indices are nice, the hands are nice, the, you know, the case shape is nice. And I feel like having so much text on a dial just attracts attention from, from that, completely. And you end up looking at all of the text rather than appreciating the watch. If you want the specifications, there's a booklet that comes with a watch. And also, Google. Last, but by no means least, this has stopped me purchasing watches in the past. And again, I might get mixed reviews for this one, but I will not and cannot buy a watch with a California dial. I just can't. Maybe it's the whole like, gold hands with steel watch thing, but just pick a font. Just, you don't need both. I don't mind Roman numerals, I don't mind Arabic or whatever text font you decide, but why both? I just, I just can't, like my brain does not compute. Those people out there, here's more watches, but, but you 
know, there's a, there's a market for it, but it's not me. I'm not the market. Oh, okay. That feels really good. You guys should try this. You, try, you should try sitting on a couch, ranting about all the stuff you hate within the watch world, just letting it all out there. So, um, I advise you to try this. This is not my usual video, by the way. So if you think I'm just rant all the time, please go check my other videos out. I'd like to think I'm quite nice. Honest, but nice with watches. Um, yeah, I felt the need to have a little rant today. As always, if you could help a girl out and make sure you've liked and subscribed to the channel, that would be awesome. And if you have liked the style of this video, me chatting stuff, say shit can't I? I can say shit. Chat shit about watches. Um, as I said before, I'm normally a lot more positive than this. Um, so if you do enjoy it, make sure you turn on that little bell to be notified of my future videos. But until next time people, bye!